All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and I wanna share with you our entire step-by-step -step process for monthly and weekly Klaviyo email marketing reports. These are the exact templates and the exact structure that we use and we give to our clients on a monthly and weekly basis whenever we work with them. So I'm gonna walk you through our entire step-by-step -step process, all these different numbers here. This is the monthly report, everything that we go through. And then we also have the weekly report. And so you can see this is our account manager and our clients seeing that weekly report and just getting a snapshot of what's going on during the week. And then the month, that report is a lot more in depth. So I'll walk you through everything that you see here. Okay, so getting into the monthly report, we simply at the start here, put the month, Clavio report and the client name, so in this case, it'll be August of 2024. And I took out some details, obviously, of the, the actual clients. First up, we want to look at just the business overall. Where's revenue coming from? How are these different channels bringing in revenue? And how does that compare to overall revenue? So we like to look at the dashboard from the start of the month to the end of the month. And so we're looking at total revenue. And then versus total revenue, how much are we actually bringing in in terms of Klaviyo attributed revenue? In this case, we're really crushing it. We're above our benchmark of 33%. We're actually at 37%. So this particular client, we've really, really crushed it before. And we're usually sitting in the high 30s to 40%, which means that retention is doing exceptionally well if, you're, if we're above that benchmark. And now they can take this extra 11 grand per month and they can go spend it on ads, which means they can continue to grow this top line revenue number. And growing that top line revenue means that you're gonna put more people into your flows. You're gonna have more people to send campaigns to. You're gonna get more traffic to your site and to your email list, which means that both of these numbers can grow simultaneously. So we want to maintain 37% and you know up to 40% plus as this becomes 50K, 100K, 200K per month. So that's what great email campaigns and great email flows does when you do it correctly. And so campaigns versus flows, we like to ideally have a good balance. Honestly, some brands are gonna do really well with campaigns, but not as much with flows. Other brands are gonna do really well with flows and not as much with campaigns. I could make a whole separate video on what type of brands do really well with both and what we tend to see. But as long as we don't see any major outliers here, we're super happy with a pretty even split between the two. If, if campaigns was like 5% and flows were 95%, again, we would have a little bit more concern. And then email versus SMS. Usually, if you have SMS firing on all cylinders, it's going to bring in about 15% of overall revenue, of overall Klaviyo revenue. So we're at about 17%, so right on pace. This is a super solid split and we have everything that we want to running. So that's why we have such great metrics. Okay, so generally, we're just, I'm just giving a summary here of what I said verbally right there. List growth. Now, this is super important. It's the first step is just getting people onto the list. So we need to talk about it first. Now, we talk about pop-up forms and then subscriber growth. So in this case, we like to look at our main four pop-up forms that we set up for clients. We're gonna have our desktop and mobile and then SMS retargeting for desktop and for mobile. I can make, a, again, a whole separate video on what these two are, but we can see here the submit rates are really, really crushing it. Minimum that we're doing here is 6.2%, going all the way up to 21%. So we're doing really well with these. We want to just continue this performance and continue getting as many people as possible into those flows. So we're just summarizing this here. Overall, we're very happy with these results. We can even, we can put this in bold. We are extremely happy with how those are doing. And you can see that with the subscriber growth. So we're really doing a lot better we're bringing a lot more subscribers than exclusions. And so that's why we put, we do the math here and we put how many net new email subscribers are we getting and where does that bring our, our total over the previous month? And same thing for SMS. We wanna look at how many net new SMS subscribers are we bringing in? Now, in terms of flow performance, 
we're just going off the dashboard here. We're looking at open rates, click rates, and place order rates. Those are the most important metrics. Overall, these are all super healthy for this particular client. Nothing too much to report here. It just means that we're doing really well and we want to continue to have great open rates, have great deliverability, increase our click rates as much as possible. Top performing flows, we like to look at what are the winners are, what the winners are, and just see here, we incorporate email and SMS into both. So we like to just get an overview of what the top performing flows are. And so we to take this from the start to end of the month and see which flows are actually bringing in the most revenue and how can we start split testing this and split testing this and split testing this to continue to just double down on what's already winning. Another thing too here is that say if the welcome series was number eight, that would be a major cause for concern. If we're not bringing, if this was out of order, if a band of cart was way down here and the customer win back flow was way up, that's going to tell us a lot of different things. And overall, it's just a great, great metric to look at when we're sorting by the most, we have the most revenue producing flow at the top. That's super important. SMS, same thing. We're just looking at click rates and place order rates doing really well with this here as well. Very healthy numbers. We're continuing to crush it with SMS. All right. Now campaigns. So we like to look at how many campaigns did we actually send during this period? What did the breakdown look like? What was the click rates, place order rates and things like that. And then we want to look at what were the best performing campaigns? What was the, the top performer? What was the pro, like the actual promotions that we did? So in this case, if it was Labor Day sales, we want to look at that breakdown and see, was it email one that did really well? Was it email two, email four? Where did that revenue come from? And was there some sort of drop off? What can we take to next time? Basically email campaign performance. Again, we're just looking at making sure open rates, click rates and place order rates over the month are where they need to be. So no issues there. And we're also looking at over time, how many email campaign recipients are, how many people are we sending emails to basically. All right. And then last up here, basis of everything that you do email marketing related is deliverability because if you don't have great deliverability, you could have the best performing and the nicest and prettiest emails, but if they're going to spam, it makes it all not worth it. We're doing really well with this particular client too on email deliverability. The only thing that we're looking into is the bounce rates. We want to make sure that we're sending to people who don't give us fake email addresses. So we're lo looking at list cleaning automations to verify that the welcome series is sending to legitimate emails. We actually saw, we looked at what flows we're getting poor bounce rates and it was the welcome series. People basically opting in, trying to get a coupon, giving a fake discount or giving a fake email. And then we send that email, we send an email to that address and it's a fake one. And so that's definitely hurting bounce rates. So we're gonna be able to mitigate that with some automations and some list cleaning. All right, this is the entire monthly, monthly report that we send our clients after every single calendar month onto the weekly report. So with our weekly report, it's super straightforward. We want to give just a quick summary. Keep in mind too, we're just looking at the business overall, what's going on, what happened this week, what's going on next week and where are we at with things like split tests and just what are we doing within the account? We're giving pretty generic, we don't want to overwhelm people here. We just want to give this, give the most important like bullet points. And you got to keep in mind too. We've probably, we send these every Friday. We've probably been in touch with the client like three times already throughout the week, at least because we're sending over deliverables. We're giving quick updates again, as we're doing them. So this is just a real summary of what what went on because we're, we're sending a lot. We, we have a lot of communication with the clients. This is my account manager, Martha here. She says, hey, client name, here's the this week's Nike weekly report. In the last 30 days, our total revenue was, total attributed revenue, so total Clavier revenue was X percent, 48% of total revenue. Again, as I said, we're really crushing with this client. Two emails were sent this week, email one, email two that I blocked out for reasons that are obvious. Two emails are scheduled for next week, email one, email two, and then A-B test results. Here's the A-B test that we ran. It was this, it was got this place order rate, this, the, that, and the other. 
And the client said, thanks, Martha. Results look awesome. Hope everyone has a great weekend. That was our weekly report as well as our monthly report. So at this time in the video, if you want us to go ahead and do everything that you see on screen here, if you want us to build you reports every single week and every single month and help you upgrade your email marketing, make more revenue and bring in minimum of 33% of your overall revenue. If you want that all to happen completely done for you, go to zhsecom.com. That's zhs-ecom.com. Book a call there, hit this button. It'll take you to the bottom of the page where you can go ahead and book in a time with myself so we can speak and we can help you add at least 10 to 35% to your monthly revenue in the next 90 days and we'll make it happen. So appreciate your time and hope you have an awesome rest of your day.